This is a remake of the no auto run fix. Previous video was too blurry, according to or YouTube's fault. You kind of see I've already messed around with this. What you're going to do is you're going to type in reg edit. You're going to type it here. For all non Vista users, I mean, wow, Vista. For all non Windows 7 users, you're going to want to use the run command. You can similarly type reg edit into run and then hit enter and it will load a screen that should look something like this. You notice I have H key local machine selected. Under H key local machine, you're going to go into the system folder. Under the system folder, look for current control set. Once you locate current control set, click it. It should open into several other new brackets. Inside of those brackets, look for services. Under services, you're going to want to find and hope that it is there, CD-ROM. In CD-ROM, you will be looking for... Once inside, you need to locate Auto Run. It should be the second from the top. Double click Auto Run. If the value says zero, you need to change it. You have located your problem, and this is why Auto Run is not functional. Quickly change it to one, hit OK, and it should be functioning from there on out. If it's still not working after changing this to one, then you will need to follow the step number two. Welcome to part two. If auto run still isn't working, you should still be in regedit. Under the same H key local machine bracket, go to software this time. Under software, you're going to want to find Microsoft, and under Microsoft, you're going to want to find Windows. So under Microsoft, scroll down, scroll down a little more. Should be a lot. Maybe less than me. I have quite a few things installed. Expand this if you need to, and look for Windows. Once inside of Windows, look for Current Version. After you've located Current Version, click that. You should get another huge list of different subcategories. The next category you're looking for is Policies. Just scroll down a little, find Policies, double click that. Once in Policies, look for Explorer. Click that. What you want to look for in here is... Once inside of Explorer, please look around for another category that says no drive type auto run. If it's not there, then you should not be having the auto run problem and you sh your problem should have been solved in part one. If it is there, then mixed about within one of these random options, double click it. Similarly with one of these, you're going to want to uncheck hexadecimal and click decimal. If you click decimal, it should be set to a number 255. If it's set to 255, change it to one of these two numbers. Either 145 should work, or 91 should work. I realize in one of my previous videos I only mentioned 145, but I've looked around on the internet and I found that 91 also works. Feel free to mess about with this and to pick which one suits you best. If 145 doesn't work in Windows 7 and only in Windows Vista, then please set it to 91. One of these two should fix your problem. Once you've set the variable, click OK, and it should work. You should have auto run back. If not, I will feel free to comment in the videos, and I will post another video in response to yours with a probable solution. Anyway, this is Scion signing off. I hope you've enjoyed. Look forward to future videos like this, and a goodbye.